gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. Right, gravitational potential energy is the energy an object has due to its position in a gravitational field. Kinetic energy is the energy an object has due to its motion. So as I lift up this ball, I give it gravitational potential energy. When I let go, that gravitational potential energy is turned into kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is greatest when the ball is at the bottom of its fall, just before it hits the ground. Okay, now, gravitational potential energy is equal to m times g times h, where m is the mass in kilograms, g is gravity in newtons per kilogram, and h is the height in metres. So, gravitational potential energy is mgh. Now, we don't show the multiplication signs, okay? We just write the letters next to each other, and we take as convention that that means they multiply each other. Kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared, where half is a constant, m is the mass in kilograms, and v is the velocity in metres per second. Right, so, as we lift up our mass to a height h, we get gravitational potential energy equal to mgh. Brilliant. Now, what we want to know is, if we know from how high we drop the ball, can we calculate the kinetic energy, and from that, the velocity at the bottom of the fall? Well, yes, we can. The kinetic energy at bottom of fall equals gravitational potential energy at top. The kinetic energy at the bottom of the fall equals the gravitational potential energy at top. So what we do is we put these two equations equal to each other. Half mv squared for the kinetic energy and mgh for the gravitational potential energy. Right. Now we rearrange the equation. Divide both sides by m. So the two m's cancel out. The mass is irrelevant. The mass doesn't matter. Fantastic. Times both sides by 2. So we get v squared on this side and 2gh on this side. Finally, square root both sides to get rid of the v squared. So we square root both sides. We get v equals the square root of 2gh. Fantastic. So if we put in our values for g and our values for h, we can calculate the velocity at the bottom of the fall.